Hello, welcome to Jade Kind Video Gaming. My name is Adam, and I'm here with Beth. I'm here. The fantastic and wonderful, and we're gonna play some more Starfield. So we're here as Ember, still level two, still just wandering around New Atlantis. But but we talked like because we looked at another area of mm -hmm. New Atlantis last time, and I was saying like this this is a big city. It's like, Bethesda said, like, hey, it's our biggest city, I think. And I'm I'm starting to think they weren't lying to me. <laughs> and so I'm like, I don't really want to explore the full city before doing other stuff. Like, like, I miss going out in space and exploring random planets and scanning things. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to I wanna do that stuff. Mm -hmm. So this time, this is Constellation episode, and I'm hopeful that once we do this, like, we'll get the ship and we no longer have Indigo telling us... We may not, you know, just fly wherever we want. Right. And we can start learning how to, like, fly wherever we want. You're right. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll explore more of the city because I'm sure there's a ton here. But there's so much here. But, yeah. And let's... the hunter. The hunter. We, we must find a way to fall in love with the hunter. We're at the lodge. If you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you, I oh, have Barrett. messaged the other members uh, of the Constellation. Message them. They will be waiting for us inside. Ah, uh, you let them know. We got 20 experience for that. Hmm. Just, just for discovering here, yeah. Okay. We have nice hands. We do. We do have nice hands. Not minor hands. Captain, everyone will be in the library. We're delicate. If Barrett were here... Can we steal it? You that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Uh, Vasco, don't get ahead of yourself. No, we can't. But we can take this bowl. It's not even stealing. It's oh, ours. Let's take it. N n then I have to carry around a bowl. Oh. Requires key. Boo. Okay, we got we got astronaut and whoever, and that's like an explorer guy and farm girl. Yeah. So lovely. Uh oh, we can look it through that. That's a win. That's an indoor window. I like indoor windows. Okay. Especially like in like that high of a thing. Like that's fancy. It is pretty and fancy. Okay, okay, let's, let's go. go. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Vasco's no longer in our party. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Well, hold on. Um, um uh. <laughs> Why don't we start with you telling me what Constellation is? Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration, space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Mm. Speaking of which... Where is Barrett? Um, yeah, pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. <laughs> we'll turn. Oh. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here with the artifact. You have a funny hat. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? How many times has this happened? 
Who else has had these visions? We Sorry. think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. I'm not talking about this. That thing almost killed me. So something did happen. Barrett mentioned a loss of consciousness last time he found an artifact. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, you expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right, let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have, the artifact, if you could place it on the table here. Okay, so I thought only I was the second person I was told that has had the vision, but there's already two here. So shouldn't I be the third person, or do we just not know who? It or has Barrett done both of them? Maybe, or maybe they they found the other one already extracted, and they don't know who it is. And we're also gonna have to find out who extracted one of them from our okay. data. Who knows? But explore also, first. There's magazines to grab. Yeah, Constellation Spacefarer's Guide. Yeah, take it. Permanently reduces fall damage by 5%. Yeah. I like, I've already taken fall damage at least once, I think twice. And it has I just, a zero mass, that means... It's well, yeah, it's, it's a collection thing. Which also, I mean, sorry to interrupt your, we're having an important meeting, but we have this Y screen now. Do I have a spot that keeps track of those benefits? Would like be status effects. Except there's nothing there. That's like that's like all your burnt and frozen and uh, all that kind okay. of sick, sick stuff. So, um, it does note that we found one magazine. Mm -hmm. um, and here is there a. Mm -hmm. Is it? There are special magazines. I'm mm. not sure. I wish there was a good way to keep track of that. I'm not sure if there is. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll set the thing here. Oh, you didn't want to wander around the whole room? What? We thought there were only two of them at first. Oh. oh. That's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This is all broken apart, too. Breathe. You have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, our instincts are set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager. You're on, Walter. Well. If he had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to mm. take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Mm. Mm. <sighs> How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Mm. You want me in Constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. All right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. All right, let's get to it. You We're in now. Time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. 
Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet oh. wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. 8,000 credits. Um, Consolation pack added. Lodge key added. We leveled up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which that lodge key probably means we can go up into those upstairs rooms. Yeah. That you know something no one else does. Wants to talk to Noel first, I think. Okay. Well, I'm gonna just look around this room. Yeah, take your time. More paintings. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. A nautical compass. Take it. It's just, it's weight. Take it all. Also, he just said, come from with the, uh, um, quarters. Mm. Which sounds like we have a room. Yeah, that's what we we got a lodge key. Yeah, but also maybe a room. Can we do stuff with it? Is it... Mm. That I might have taken. Hmm. Well, I suppose that station in orb. Stay one. Marley's ghost. Marley was dead to begin with. There is no doubt whatever. Whatever about that. The register of his burial was designed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and the chief mourner. Scrooge signed it, and Scrooge's name was good upon change for anything he chose to put his hand to. Old Marley was as dead as a doornail. Charles Dickens, 1843 novella, considered, to, considered his most famous work, chronicles the redemption of the... Miserly, miserly miserly Ebenezer Ebenezer Scrooge as he is visited by four ghosts who force him to analyze his life and the decisions he has made that has more than paid for itself this point. so they don't have the full books in this no <laughs> which I mean is fine but I but I feel like if I did now would be a good time for one Are you talk to doing him. okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. Oh, that's you exactly what I thought you were. You've done something really significant bringing that mm -hmm. artifact here. I'm Mateo, mm -hmm. theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. <sighs> what brought you to Constellation? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. Mm. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. <laughs> After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. Um, what do you make of the vision I saw? I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but, you know, if the label fits. Um... Dang it, it was the one that moved us on further. Um, uh, you think this was a religious experience? Not necessarily, no. But it does kind of have the hallmarks of one, doesn't it? Mm. I'm certainly not going to rule it out just yet. If it meant something, I didn't understand it. Okay. It's all right. Maybe you weren't supposed to. Maybe it'll make sense later. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Mm, these artifacts all came out of caves? The second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But 
the first right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, mm -hmm. masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Okay, so that probably answers it. That um, the we first, don't know who had the first one. Yeah, and it was already touched because whenever they dug it out, they probably it was had that in vision. storage. It wasn't in rock. Right. There is the okay. best possible person to be running constellation at a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. Mm. We don't need a soy box. No. Want to talk to Walter? Well, yeah. I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit. Mm. I've been called worse. <laughs> yeah. Excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start <laughs> over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off time scrumpy. Mm. Mm -hmm. I hope the drinks were at least free. Yes, uh, stock bar is a treat I think Constellation can afford. For now. But if you clean us out, you're on your own. <laughs> By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Mm. Spacesuit customization, Pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. <clears throat> Yeah, what's your role in Constellation? Me? <laughs> Why, well, I'm the wallet. <laughs> I'm has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I, I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Moore or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. Mm. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Um, do you think the vision I had means anything? Up until very recently, uh, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. Mm. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Um... <laughs> I want to say, oh sure, I see lights and hearing music all the time. It's a non-stop party in my head. Well, clearly there's sarcasm somewhere. Here. <laughs> I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and Young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Mm, what kind of company is Stroud Eklund? The most well known for ship manufacturing. No expense, mm. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels they cover. Bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos star units. Those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Hmm. This isn't where I'd expect to find a CEO. Funny thing about companies. You build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Hmm. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis. Leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. Hmm. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally hmm. decided to do something more than admire from a distance. And so now, 
I call the lodge home as much as anywhere else. Okay. Remember, you're representing all of us out there. Do you mind if I ask you kind of a personal question, Walter? You don't seem to spend much time at home. How is that not a problem for your wife? Uh -oh. It's true. I am away from home quite a bit. Apparently, I've become rather cranky when I'm not able to participate in constellations and conventions. It has been determined that for the long-term health of our relationship, that I am better off here, rather than simply making things worse at home. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Whatever works for the two of you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's some serious problem with that. Yep. Okay. Um, we do need to talk to Noel as well. Yeah. Fancy compass. I'm also just enjoying all the. Yeah. No, you're good. All the. Door. Ooh, moth vine. Ooh, I want to do a. Uh... Constellation, no. Yeah, totally. Absolutely, Sarah. I've never regretted the decision. I'm glad to hear it. You could have done just about anything. So it's important to me that you feel valued here. It's not always easy, but I just remind myself that if it weren't for you and the constellation, I'd have no idea that any of this was going on. Can I help? No, we won't have to know well. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Mm. Go down. The vision I saw, what do you think that was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brains attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon. Mm. This wasn't random synapses firing. It means something. Sure. I'm not trying to suggest otherwise. I wasn't there when it happened. I'm just thinking it through. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Mm, you seem to know a lot about these artifacts. Oh, gosh. No, no. I mean, that's... It's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Mm. I was wondering about other types of exploration work besides the artifacts. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Hmm. Okay, we're getting all these activity stuff. Uh, Sarah had said something about a place for me to stay? Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter's quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part. At least usually. <laughs> Let's head upstairs. 
Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. Or even at your service, Captain. Walk quietly. Shh. Why? I don't know. We just are. We'll talk once we get to our destination. We can't talk while walking. Oh, here's the bar, though. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself. Within reason, of course. Mm. Now, let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. This is huge. Yeah, I'm just thinking that as we turned and there's another hallway there, I'm like, oh, okay. Mm. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! So is it, this is my room? That's what I took to it, yeah. yeah. Which, good design across from the awkward hallway here. So that, like, to remember which door is yours. Mm-hmm. Not that it probably matters a whole lot, but... Sealed cocktail mixer. Ooh. Should we have a glass of Chardonnay? Nah. We have a digi frame of our own. Oh. Preloaded with other with uh, pictures from someone else. Love it. So watch case. We can press sleep. Let's just sleep. Oh gosh. That's crazy. We don't actually need to sleep. Just three local hours. Which is like six hours. <laughs> Wow. It healed our health, though. Oh, cool. Okay, so one side is a common room. Is that... This, you said that's this by was Mateo. Hmm. Maybe not sleeping on the floor. Maybe it's like a meditation area. Maybe. Close our door, too. This was the common area. Yeah. Like, oh, like an office room. Okay. Desktop globe. Not that I'm going to go in every room, but what is across here? Another bedroom. Someone else's bedroom. Up in case. Inaccessible lock. Hmm. Yeah, we don't need to be snooping around too much. Yeah. I'm sure over time, as we get to know people, we'll... Meet them in their spaces. What was yeah. cooking station? Ooh. Can make an alien sandwich with nutrients and bread. Nice. Can we make a drink? Fancy ice bucket. Ooh. Whole wine selection. Hmm. 
We'll just have like all of the wines. A Pinot more. Okay. Okay. So what is off of here? Yeah, okay, so cool. some people have bedrooms right off of the main area. Mm-hmm. Close that door. It's this leads hallway. back to the hallway. It's probably the same hallway. Yeah, our room's there. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Bedroom. Oh. See, yeah, to some extent, it's like, whose bedroom matters more than, like, what's in the bedroom? Mm -hmm. um, this is bathroom? Yeah. Well. Lavatory. What? Lavatory. There's not really any bath or shower or place to clean yourself. Oh. Unless that's what this thing is. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're in the future. This is sci-fi. Bedroom. Mm, bedroom. Bedroom. What's this one? Ooh. Outside. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we're basically time. And I'm gonna say we have two options for what we wanna do to end this off. Do we wanna go with, we'll do that next time. Let's talk to her. Let's we all have talked to all the people that are present. Because obviously we're I guess the tenth person here. Right. Barrett's missing. So that would be one, two, three, four, four, we're five, he's six. So that's probably two crews of two that are out on expeditions because they go in pairs mm -hmm. or person with robot. And I'm doubting th that the robot counts itself as a member of Constellation because it doesn't seem to be that self-aware. Right. So my presumption... But it was ten without us. No, no, we would be the tenth, I think is what, what it was. Oh. So that would make it with the six because there's four here. We would be one. Barrett would be one. Mm -hmm. um, so there would be two crews of two out. So there's still f probably four more people to meet. But we'll meet all the people here if we just talk with Sarah Morgan. Sorry. Are you ready to get to work? Look or at me. Or was there something else? Um. How well known is Constellation? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? <laughs> I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Uh, what do you know about the artifacts? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. Mm. What is consolation? What do you do? Figure things out. They just we're said that. Or oh. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Mm. The UC Vanguard? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. <laughs> My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Mm. 
Other people have artifacts? We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resource to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Good. Chance to learn more about the United Colonies. Jumping to anthropology on me already? Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. Well. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Locked as your follower if you continue. Mm. Yeah, what do I get out of this anyways? Constellation have a salary? You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Got it. You and me until we get that artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Hmm. Um. Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Mm -hmm. All right. And that seems like a great place to call it. Okay. Well, we'll figure things out next time. We have a new companion. We have access. To, we're part of Constellation now. Mm-hmm. So uh, keep on joining we leveled us. Up. Yeah, we leveled up a while ago. We'll we'll figure that out. Yep. Join us next time. Bye. Can I get a sip of water? Yes. <laughs>